know that you are paramatman you yourself are paramatman no doubt you are a tiger but what is the mark of identification of the tiger if you are a tiger there should be some mark indicating that you are a tiger like that if you are paramatman what is the sign that you are a paramatman the first sign is that there is neither birth nor death for you the word jiva is a combination of two words ja plus iva which means that he is as if born but not actually born the sign of paramatman is that he neither takes birth nor dies the experience that paramatman is birthless and deathless should actually be felt the jiva the body mind ego and the world manifest world this ever keeps changing so we call as birth and death but you paramatman the real nature of who we are the essence of who we are neither takes birth and never dies this is the first important sign of paramatman the word akasha means void or empty space the empty space is in a pot in a house and in consciousness even if a pot is broken or a house collapses the sky or space which it is contained in is not affected similar to the space the self also does not come or go anywhere the self is prior to all attributes so he has no coming or going before there was either sky or water at that time the supreme self atmaram was there like space our true nature original nature paramatman atmaram is always there eternally it's there since it doesn't have any form there is no change in it within that paramatman the real nature the entire universe including our own body mind ego comes and goes and keeps changing its form even though all the things which is within our true nature keeps changing its form our true nature is untouched like a cinema screen is untouched by whatever is projected on it even the space takes birth in our true nature time and space we give birth to the time and space even without the entire universe we will always be there eternally we will always be there you count time the years by the sun rising and setting but at that time there was no sun there was no earth atmaram is so ancient it was there before any elements came into being that is the glory of our true nature we were there even before any elements came into being days and years are all fictitious from the point of view of our true nature time days years are all fictitious even though great spiritual powers or miracles may become evident they are all a dream from the point of view of paramatman true nature all the spiritual powers miracles this and that whatever may happen in the universe it's all just a passing dream this world is not really even of one moment but it appears as if it is millions of years of old all of it is false from the point of view of our true nature eternally unchanging basic reality this universe is just 
am happening in a moment in just a flicker because our true nature is eternal in this eternity this universe and this happening is just a flickering but it appears as if it is millions of years old because we are experiencing the universe from the point of view of the body mind ego the separate individual existence from this view point it will appear the universe is very old but from the point of view of a true nature the entire universe is just a moment just a happening in a moment just a dream like happening which comes and goes millions of universes have come and gone but we were already there always there always will be there unchanging think about the 15 minutes of a dream there you can experience births and deaths by hundreds like that within our true nature original reality many things takes birth and dies out meaning changes its form the universe take birth like the waves take birth from the ocean and goes back to the ocean from our true nature original reality millions of things takes birth and go back listen now the glory is to know that all appearances are illusory all are false and there is neither coming nor going and he has he who has this glory is paramatma listen now the glory is to know that all appearances are illusory only the one our true nature is real and everything else which comes and goes which keeps on changing its form is dream like illusory things for you there is neither coming nor going and he who has this glory is paramatma now since you have gained knowledge you may not be giving much value to it meaning after knowing clearly your true nature which is beyond the body mind ego which is always there in the waking state dream state deep sleep state unchanging when all these states keeps changing there is one basic reality which is always there when you know experientially intuitively you know this and be established in after some time it will appear so effortlessly so normal so serene blissful light it will appear very easy oh i thought enlightenment realization was a very big event something might have happened but it looks very simple very normal i was always like this so it might appear very normal to you but imagine when you were ignorant what was the situation then it was like a hell you were always in bondage you were always searching for happiness outside you were always having some lack you were always having fear about future you were always having guilty feeling about your past from that state of ignorance of individual existence separate individual ego from the point of view you have lived like that from that when you compare to this state present state where you are established as the true nature there is a difference of heaven and hell so don't take it lightly this simple knowledge of knowing that there is only one thing which is appearing as everything this knowledge might appear very simple very normal it will not have any hi-fi effects which is visible outside even though when it appears normal it is, it makes a difference of heaven and hell in day to day life so do not forget it he who knows that there is neither bondage nor freedom is paramatman paramatman was always free he is free and will always will be free nothing can bind it the movies projected on a screen can never stain or bind the screen it was always free untouched and is beyond all qualities and forms all qualities and forms takes birth inside us and goes back dissolves inside us but we are untouched by any quality or form and we don't have any quality or form we don't have any lack in our original nature we are complete already we doesn't have any particular quality we are neither good 
nor bad we are neither bound to anything nor free from anything because there is nothing other than who we are the one who knows this by experience is paramatman with complete realization just by knowing this by experience one become paramatman and attains the complete realization just think about what glory this is this is not ordinary glory to know that we are paramatman this is very very rare knowledge the awareness that the illusion and its bondage is cut away is useful for the original state of existence money and worldly riches are not useful there in the state of paramatman what is the use of money and riches when we are eternally complete our nature itself is bliss we are already complete in all aspects and we are giving birth to the entire universe from that point of view from that state of existence what is the use of money and worldly riches this is the wealth of knowledge that belongs to the paramatman if you ask what property is there in the home of paramatman the answer is that this property is knowledge lord shiva was asked what property have you got he said i am alone complete shiva there is nothing else here so somebody might ask what is the use of this knowledge that you are paramatman you are complete you are the supreme reality what is the what is the use of such knowledge will that knowledge pay me house rent will that knowledge feed me will that knowledge pay me electricity bills what is the use of such a knowledge why should we learn all these things why should we know all these things for a such a one shiva was asked what property have you got you say that you are self realized so what is the property you have got what is the use of your realization he said i am alone complete shiva there is nothing else here i am the eternal ever present existence there is nothing else other than here other than me there is nothing else here there is i don't have to possess anything because there is nothing else other than myself here so this knowledge itself is the glory all the possessions worldly riches are for what satisfy the body mind ego because this body mind ego is always incomplete it will always have some or the other lack so people have to run behind the worldly riches to satisfy the lack for few moments these lacks of body mind ego lacks of the forms can never be satisfied completely but the one who is completely realized self realized that he is ever present eternal reality knows that he is already complete his original nature in his origin is already complete there is no lack there is nothing lacking here there is no need of anything here he alone exists so he has attained the eternal permanent bliss completeness what else is a glory what is the glory which is more than this knowledge of oneself this alone will give us contentment this knowledge alone will give us contentment and make us complete nothing else no nothing else from outside is going to make us complete nothing else from outside is going to give us contentment in the house of jiva there is lamentation that is poverty and sorrow there will always be lack when we feel and take ourselves as an individual as a body mind ego there will always be poverty and lack he who really knows this is paramatman and the one who thinks that he is the body of 3 and 1/2 arms length is jiva the one who thinks i am just a body gross body is the jiva just as an old man of a large rich family says this is all my property even though he may not have anything valuable on his body he is very happy likewise is this ancient paramatman happy who says i am all of this world 
an old man of a large rich family is an old man he has gained so many riches all the riches but on his body he might not have anything but he is happy because he knows everything all the riches he is his only the one who has realized he might not have any worldly riches with himself but he knows have the real knowledge that the entire universe is nothing but his own expression the essence of the entire universe and the essence of who i am is the same with this knowledge alone he is happy because there is nothing else other than himself other than herself other than this essence other than the supreme reality other than the original nature which he which is in his experience right now and this is the essence of everything everything is just a modulation as an expression as a shape formed by the same essence so what is there to achieve what is there to gain other than himself his original nature which is already in his experience wherever we go in a sea we we will see the same sea water why should a wave go in search of something in the sea surface of the sea wherever the wave travels i am if the wave takes itself as an i am an independent individual wave i am going to search another way so if it travels 1000 miles over the sea and will find a bigger wave over there what is that is the same sea water if a wave loses its identity with the form that i am a small wave i am going i am going in search of a bigger wave no take your identity as a sea water i am the sea water and wherever i travel in the sea i will find the same sea water the waves may be in a different shape the droplets may be in a different shape but the essence will be the same so wherever i travel it's who i am which is already i am the one who knows paramatman one who has realized this that i am paramatman the essence of everything so wherever i go whatever i see whatever i hear whatever i gain is nothing but the same essence in a different form when a wave travels wherever over the sea it will see the same sea water in a different form so why to travel the one who knows this has the glory he is paramatma he is complete there is nothing else to search other than himself which is already in his experience this original nature the essence of everything is in his experience and whatever he perceives have the same essence there is no different essence different basic reality for each items each things there is the same one essential reality behind everything the one who knows this has no need to search anything in this universe he is complete the one who realizes this, this is the glorious paramatman full of happiness nobody knows this paramatman or what is its nature nobody can know its farthest limit it is limitless only the forms will have limit the formless is limitless the basic reality is limitless only a wave will have a limit the only one who knows this is the all pervading only one paramatman that is everywhere equally pervading eternally beyond time and space know that you are that paramatman don't be limited to the body mind ego you are much more than this you are eternal you are formless you are complete your fragrance itself is bliss you doesn't have any lack just limiting oneself with this limited body mind ego perception is only making our life a hell just to know your true nature you are already that just by knowing it just by asserting your true nature you are complete the same circumstances which is perceived as a hell will be perceived as a heaven wherever you are irrespective of the time and space you are everything whatever you see whatever you hear is who you are there is no one superior or inferior there is no separate things there is only one thing which is appearing as everything this is the true glory which is yours own it assert it